Hello everyone, my name is Misha. Welcome back. So, I have been um, watching a lot of videos lately and I kept hearing about greenhouses. I tend to do a lot of my purchasing online through Hertz, Gabriella Plants, many Etsy vendors if you have watched any of my videos before. So I kept hearing about greenhouses which um, I guess the legal name is Accents for Home and Garden. Um, one of the people that I listen to, or maybe a couple of the people that I listen to on YouTube, um, kept doing unboxings from them. Um, when you do order from them, they do mention that because they're so far behind and it's a small um, staff that it could take up to two months. But I have my box in less than two weeks so I'm like ecstatic I ordered five plants from them and they send kind of like some instructions um, where it says you know that I need to notify them if the package has been damaged um, to unpack um, carefully because some plants might be staple to the box to ensure the, the safe travel and let's see to place it on a bright area and it says that many plants um, it warns me that many plants may have a few broken or discolored leaves from the shipping and to let us let my plants adjust for a week before transplanting them and they do advise that also some plants may go dormant or going into dormancy depending on the time of the year but if I'm not sure to please email them with any concerns. And then it has the official nursery certificate, which I actually love when I receive that because, you know, it just the legitimacy of it. And they're from the state of Delaware and it's just amazing. And of course my receipt. Um, so let's just get going with the unboxing. Um, I have right now I think close to 200 um, plants under my care I'm leaning more towards buying you know recently towards purchasing things that are like hard to find and don't get me wrong I go to big box stores and I buy stuff um, if I like it and I think it's gonna do well in my home but I'm like recently looking into some ontheriums and some different things that I think it's going to be hard for me to find and the only vendor on the particular ones that I want that I found it's in Orlando and the plants are about $200 so I'm going to take advantage that my anniversary is coming soon and just kind of ask my fiance <laughs> if he will get something for me but anyway, um, so I opened the box from this end. Let me go ahead and show you the first thing that I see. And I, you know, my eyes see at my daughter every time we go out because it's so hot out. It's in the 90s. Um, so my daughter is always like, Mom, can we get an icy? And I can't say no. Um, Let's see. Okay, so it's giving me like the name and the care for the plants, which is pretty awesome. Let me see the very first one. And she is glued to the box, so I have to be very careful. And it seems like they're not coming in pots. Ugh, let's see. So let me get them all out and then that way I can just kind of remove the box because I'm so, like they're taped in there, look, they're just taped and they're like very, very, um, seems like well packaged. That's my cat. That's... Oh, one leaf did come out. 
That's my cat, Nikolaya, and oh my gosh, if you could see him, he's just like on the, <laughs> he's just like on the chair and just kind of looking, looking like a boss. He's going to keep on. I'm so sorry about this, but I think this is what happens when you have animals. Puppy, come on now. Go. Okay, let me give him some loving. Come here, sweetheart. Oh, if daddy sees you there. And this is Nikolai, by the way. Okay, go. Anyway, sorry about that. But I'm like, I'm a plant and a pet person. Um, I have two cats and a dog. And I have always had dogs. But the cats, it's like, I started having cats, I want to say, seven years ago, six years ago. And I started with one, not knowing what the heck I, you do with a cat, and now I have two, and I'm an expert. Or at least I like to think I am. Uh oh This is like really taped in there. I'm going to just open the whole box because I'm afraid that I'm going to hurt the plants. Let me see if I can just rip it. This is, this is well taken care of. Ooh. And well packaged. I'm so excited. When I heard two months, I honestly was kind of sad. And I thought, I'm just going to order plants and hide them. Because... Every time I get plant mail, my family is not too happy. They, well, I guess they are for me. Because I'm like, you know, I'm happy. But I don't know if my daughter was joking the other day and she said, I think I'm getting claustrophobic with so many plants in here. <gasps> okay. Oh, that one was stapled. The last ones, I they there's four of them on planters, on planter pots. There's one that I think it's not, and they were um, definitely stapled. They were not going anywhere. Okay. So, let me see. Okay, so, let me open this one. It only took two days to ship, which made me very happy. So this one, it's of course, the watermelon peperomia. That it's gorgeous. And I'm just like so happy because I have been falling in love with peperomias. And you know, this is the only bit of soil that fell off the plant. It has um, rubber bands, so they're more than happy and safe there. This is amazing. I have peperomias, but I didn't have a watermelon peperomia, and everyone seems to be selling them outrageously, you know, pricey on Etsy, and I just pay for this one $9.95, and this is in a four inch pot. They tied this so tight that the pot is like messed up, but I don't care. This is so... Flipping awesome. <gasps> this leaves. I am so happy. Doesn't seem like there's anything scary in the soil. It's pretty humid. It's pretty wet. Let me see. There's something here. I want to make sure there's no bugs in it. 
Let me see if I can get it with the knife. I'm not sure what that is. But just in case, staying outside of the camp. Okay. So, um, I'm sorry. I, I just got so distracted. But the watermelon peperomia looks amazing. And I know exactly where I'm going to place it. I've been buying, like, um, pots for the plants. I As soon as I get a, a, a plant, I want to, like, right away um, buy a planter for it. Because I think it's just, you know, it, you have to give character to the plant. Aside from the character that it has. And then, of course, all the care. It's right there on the pot. So, let me go ahead and go to the second one. The second one, it has it loose because it didn't come with a planter, which I'm kind of surprised. And this is the one that has lost the most leaves. Well, it did come with one. It's just super tiny. This isn't a two inch. So everything but one came in a two inch. Everything, everything came in a four inch, but this one. Okay, and I'm making a mess with the soil, but I don't care. This one. No, it's losing another one right here. Just hanging by a thread. But um, this is what it looks like so far. They really do tie them up well. There's one that I wonder if you can propagate. Um, you should write a cornstalk peperomia from leaf because there's plenty. <laughs> I'm gonna try. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below because I have never had this one before. It's super. It looks like. It looks like a, a Hoya Linearis on steroids, don't you think? <laughs> That's what it looks like. Uh, it's the same type of um, leaf pattern. This one, it's broken. Um, but I think it's super, super, super healthy. I'm, I'm like loving it. This is going to look amazing. Okay, so that's plan number two. And they care for that one. Because it runs on the dry side. That one's humid too. And I'm just going to honestly find out if I can propagate this one. I doubt it. I don't know. We'll see. But usually peperomia you can do it from a leaf. But I don't know if the dwarf um, corn stalk would be the same. This one is the um, zebra basket vine. You know, the lipstick plant. Funny thing about this is that I already have one that I bought on Etsy. But it was the most bizarre thing because I bought it. And for this one, by the way, for the cornstalk peperomia, I paid $5.95. And for the zebra basket vine, I paid $6.95. $6.95. Are you kidding me? Look at this gorgeousness. And the bad thing about this is that um, when I got the other one um, on Etsy, I paid more. I paid much more than that for something smaller. I think I paid like $20 to $30. I can't remember. I just know it was like more than this. Um... The funny thing about this is that um, usually in the back, the leaves look completely different and you can't see that here because usually maybe the leaves need to be more mature to turn like that little maroonish color because this one, it's not like that. So that's pretty interesting. And the leaves on my other one look a bit longer. So maybe the age of the plant since the other one that I received was you know a cutting maybe they're a little different the soil on this one it's completely dry it looks like um 
cocoa coir, but I'm not sure. But I think this is amazing for six freaking ninety five. I should have grabbed more. I should have grabbed more. This is gonna look amazing. I'm gonna definitely listen to the instructions and leave them alone for a week. Um, <laughs> no mess. Um, because I I want them all to thrive. Sometimes if the soil is like really wet, if I receive the plant and it's super wet, I just repot it right away on better soil because I feel like, you know, especially big box stores, they just water plants every day and by the time you get them, they're barely hanging on. So it depends on the grower. So this one, I was excited about this one. This one's the six sack peperomia. And I obviously didn't have it. Um, my peperomia collection is definitely growing. I have more peperomias that I have hoyas, that I have philodendrons, that I have pileas, because I have a little bit of everything. I have anthuriums, alocasias, um, you name it, and I probably have it. But um, sensivarias, of course, CC plants. Um, I even like I was showing my sister this weekend because I have um, a couple of carnivorous plants and I just I love them and they thrive in my home um, but anyhow so the zigzag peperomia the leaves look very yellow I hope it's not being, like it's not chlorotic. Um, I'll see in a week. It does look like something was eating the leaves. Definitely something was eating the leaves. And I'll show you. Do you see right there? Something was definitely eating them this one so even though this is like a gorgeous gorgeous plant I may have to spray it and just double check and triple check that you know it doesn't have anything harmful I read that they usually spray them before sending them but you know better safe than sorry but this is like so pretty. This is so, so pretty. But I'm definitely going to keep an eye out. Oh, wait, I see something. There's a web. There was a web. I'm not sure if it's just a regular web. Again, something was obviously eating those leaves, and I'll keep looking at the plant and making sure there's nothing harmful, and I'm going to spray it just to be safe. And because they were all in the same box, I'm just going to spray them all. But anyway, so, so far I'm very, very happy with the size with the way that it was packaged you know and the affordability like for the zigzag peperomia I pay $6.95 this isn't a four inch pot granted you know four inch pot and it's you know a small plant but you know it is what it is um, and I think you can tell what this is um, but let me open it So this was supposed to be a red fire stick cactus, but I think they just sent me a regular one. Because on the photos, it was like very, very red. I don't know if once gets to, you know, bright, um, to bright lighting. Um, cause I'm going to have it on a south facing window. 
Um, so I'm not sure if it'll turn then, but, um, but this is like ginormous, <laughs> ginormous. Okay, so I pay for this $4.95, four inch pot, massive, it's already like a foot and a half at least in a four inch pot. This is amazing. I did pay a lot for shipping in comparison, you know, like to other places. Yes and no. I paid $16.90 for shipping. So all together for this five plants, I spent $51.65. Um, the soil on this one is almost non-existent. I don't know if you can see. I don't know what happened there. And I don't know where it went. <laughs> But the soil is just simply not there. So I'm going to have to add some cacti soil. Because this is like missing like a half of the soil, maybe more. Look at that. Like that's crazy. And it is root bone. So this one I'm just going to have to pot right away. Because there's no soil. And it's root bone. And I'm going to have to break the pot because that's a quite big root. That's that's really big. Like, look how big that is. Not like I can just squeeze through it. So, and I love repotting, so that is not a big deal to me. I think that that's, you know, part of planting, just kind of getting ready and getting plants adjusted to you. Um, I'm going to inspect them for, you know, insects and do my whole repotting and whatnot. But I am so happy with the overall of these plants. When I order them and I realized that I was going to be paying, you know, almost $17 for shipping, I just saw it as, you know what, it comes out to technically a little bit over $10 per plant um, when you look at it all together but i don't care like this is i think these are really good plants this is um gonna look very well in my home and i have never you know ordered from them but i think i'm definitely giving them a thumbs up and i will be you know ordering from them again i can see you know what all the fuss was about sometimes when I do unboxings, I honestly feel like I get to see when people care for, you know, their plans and what they're sending and when they're all about money. So to me, I feel like this is people that actually care, you know, um, because of the way they package the instructions, the, you know, the certificate, the health of the plans. I just feel like, you know, and overall, I'm really happy. And I do have um, iron tone, um, just in case this is, you know, chlorosis on the leaves. I don't think it is. It has been traveling for a couple days. Um, but if it is, I will treat the plant and then I will do an update when it comes to the zigzag peperomia. But anyhow, this is going to be it for now. If you have ordered from them before, um, let me know in the comments below what has it been, how long did it take, were you happy? Because um, I know that there's a lot on my list there and right now I feel comfortable going back and ordering more. Um, but anyway, um, thanks again and until next time, bye.